Why are they called coasters? Um, let me tell you. Uh, cause they were invented. And the guy called them coasters. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid rags to eat it. I'm Corbin. I'm Edgar McKay. And fall and a more juicy. It's so juicy. Thank you for us on Patreon. Follow our official Twitter account. Ring the bell to be part of the notification squad. Hello. Jaws. Maybe. Angelos. Today, Ready. we are reacting to a food video. Bell ringing. You get that joke? Food video? Why isn't Micah here? Oh, that's because we don't have food for him to eat. It is from the best ever food review show. We've done a lot We've of his We've done food. a lot of his Love stuff. him. He's great. great. Probably our favorite food reviewer. But this is called Deadly Indian Junk Food. The most sweet, greasy, yummy Punjabi street foods. Oh! So, and this is actually in Amritsar. Right. right. Well, Temple, is, right. Which is where we are going. So I'm hoping he's going to show us some places to go and eat. I don't mean to be a doof. What? I didn't hear what you said, but I know stupid babies have corrected us, so if you said it right, then kudos to you. I've been told it's pun. Punjab. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm guilty of having called it. Probably, pun, I'm saying pun, it. Punjabi. And they, Punjab. So yeah, Punjab. That makes sense. All right, cool. I don't know if you meant <laughs> it that way. I just No, that's probably correct. Cool. So this is sweet, greasy, the most... Indian junk, junk food. food. Okay. And he's always great, so this will be fun. You're not hungry, I hope. <clears throat> I'm always hungry. Here we go for sweet, greasy junk food. Thank you for warning me about the love. I opened my heart up and I was ready for the joys of gulab jamun. <laughs> Texture. Did you try it in India? Anyway? Yeah. Is it better? Today on the yeah. Food Review Show, Same we are texture, going though. on another fun food adventure here in Amritsar. We are finding the best indulgent junk food we can find. You ready? Okay? He's like. <laughs> He's like, like, what are you talking about? It's like it's food or oh. food. I love it all. It can be oily, greasy, sweet, or cooked in enough butter to give an elephant a heart attack. Look at this. I can wring out oh. the margarine, but it's like completely soaked. I mean, exotic foods margarine are great, and butter are but different. junk food brings out the real I wouldn't want that much like margarine. Mm. <laughs> Today, my guide, Surat, is pointing me in the right direction. We cannot resist it. We cannot eat one. You will be eating it because you will be enjoying it. Together, we'll be hunting down the richest, most decadent Indian food this city has to offer. Mm. It's that good. From street snacks soaked in Indian spices. This is one of the most indulgent comfort foods I've ever seen in India. To sweets more powerful than love. Oh, <laughs> I made my knees weak. So prepare your jewel bucket because Ooh. today we're going over the top oh. delicious in Amrita. Did he tell me to prepare my jewel bucket? I'm so looking forward to the Punjab food. All right. Good morning from Emirates. I am here with Sita. Hello. Yeah. Thank you for hey. joining me today. <laughs> Good handshake. We are on an epic like journey it? today, as you can well, tell by a, our mode of a, transportation. Yeah, no, that's not Would a rickshaw. Would you call this a rickshaw? Yeah, we are chilling on well, rickshaw. Technically. Do I look comfortable? Yeah. <laughs> Amritsar, tell me about this. Give me the rickshaws. Amritsar is He's a holy city. It's famous for Golden Temple, and people love eating over here. They just keep on talking. That sounds like my kind of people. Today I'm on a special mission because I'm looking for what I would call Indian junk food. I don't mean for that to be an insult. For me, I love all kinds of junk food. You will have lots of variety of food, deserts. You will get a great stuff over here to eat. Like gulab jamun, it's made from sugar syrup. People just love to eat it. Those onions nice. aren't round. Yeah, Ours were round. Right get some yeah, gulab jamun. No. Let's I, go. I, I had one in cup cutter that was just like, it was almost like the mango right. revelation. It was so much better. I'll try it. Early in the morning, we're starting you like with it. dessert for breakfast here yeah. at Sharma Sweets. This small roadside sweets shop is making India's favorite dessert. It's like a great dessert. Like people almost eat after every yeah. meal. People How love many it. would you have after a normal they dessert? I mean, eat three to four pieces. That's pretty good. They have a whole assembly line here. My man over here, no, he is it. picking apart little pieces, kind of portioning out how big they each one should be. The is. ones he's portioned out are here, they're kind of rough. And then when you move over to here, I mean, look at like that. That is like that. perfectly yeah. smooth ladoos. Ladoo means ball, right? Yeah. <laughs> 
I tried Joe Force. We got the savory gulab jamun. Whoa. It just falls apart in your mouth. It's unbelievably rich and oily. But here, they're making it in the classic style. 100% sweet. Starting with what looks like a dough that's made of dehydrated milk salt. So this one is more of a distiller gulab jamun. You can see it gets about twice the size in a bath of sugary syrup. That's the kind of bath I would like to take. Once these balls are formed, they're deep fried in ghee or clarified butter. All right, he's giving me the job with a little bit of coaching here. I'm gonna dump in these mini ladoos. Well, with a little assistance here. He's basically doing everything. There we go. <laughs> Once it turns a beautiful golden brown, it's dumped in a huge vat of sugary syrup. Is there anything else we need to know before Those we eat? Those vats are mass massive. massive. Just uh, prepare yeah, yourself. I mean, you will be loving it. Prepare yourself for love. I didn't Bats. see them. They very well may have, but I didn't see big vats like that for that. We have one of the most classic Indian desserts right here. And honestly, this is a tiny little ball, and that's already got some heavy <laughs> to it. It's got weight. It's full of ghee and sugar. Very rich. Let's try it out. Mm. I can have more. Before we started shooting, you're like, I smaller can have than one. we have. But now you can't Those stop, are. Right? The one that I What's ate really is really It's, it's all size. made from milk. Let's try one more. Mm. All we have left is these huge ones. What? What? Huh? Look at that tiny bite. I can cut it down. Do people eat a big one like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to be normal so badly. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it made my knees weak. It's so intense though. I mean, the ghee and the sugar work together like best friends holding hands, prancing through a field, a meadow, in fact. Thank you for warning me about the love. I opened my heart up and I was ready for the joys of gulab jamun. Mm. Gulab jamun? Glob John. Glob From dessert to India's finest fried treats, this street corner stall has been serving deep fried happiness for over 70 Those years. Chickens? A place so innovative they can even turn vegetables oh. into junk food. Oh. Cauliflower? Yeah. Really? Can I try that one right now? Apparently, yeah. all the flowers are really it's kind of unexpected vegetable that's with used that for hard, a lot of different shell Indian around food. it. And then really? you're like, oh, yeah. dang, a vegetable. These fried treats are called pakoras, usually served as a snack or appetizer. It's Looks basically like chicken. a fried vegetable, but there are many more pakoras to choose from. There are different types of pakoras, like onion and spinach pakora, cauliflower pakora, potato pakora. Can we just try them all? One of everything, please. <laughs> God, and he's using his hands. Badass. Look at that. Nice. Did you see his expression? <laughs> he was like, yeah. yeah. For me, it's Tuesday. Coming out of the fryer, and that is ready to eat. Oh, we got some bread here and some chutney on the side. Oh, thank you. It looks tasty. You gotta show me how to do this because I see bread, I see fried stuff, and then chutney on the side. What's okay, your move? Take a bite, put this pakora into this, mm. apply some chutney. Yeah. Oh, wow. Mm. Without me even. Is that good? Mm. I love it with the bread. It gives it some balance because the pakora is so heavy. Here we got the spinach plus that open. That's good. Oh, cheers. Delicious. Mm. That's my favorite so far. Level five crunch. It's super salty. I also like it's it doesn't look yeah, greasy, even though it's just deeply fried. It's not like oily. The last one here, what is in there? It's not just potato. potato. What is that? This chilies and some jeera. There are a lot of spices in it. So I'm making a little bread sandwich right here. Oh, so bada bada bada. Chutneys. Look at that. Vegetable bite. sandwich? Cheers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is tremendously like salty. Really yeah. breakfast Even it's very spicy had, as compared to all the Yeah, that one has oh. a lot of spice. Mm, I just noticed. <laughs> in general, I really like the texture, but these are super salty. In Amritsar, people love spices. Spice and just tons of flavor. <laughs> hey, gladly I got that again. That guy needs to be a yeah. gift. Surat's knowledge and love of food has inspired me and prepared me to explore my next destination Epsi. on my own. We have reached our third location. It is the ultimate snack destination here in Amritsar. This place has been open for the last 60 years. Started by this man right here. Amazing. 60 years ago, this man had a dream to build this family-run restaurant. Now it's among the most famous craving-satisfying joints in town. And I'm here for their famous bantiki. Right here on the Tawa, they are making a sandwich with these little potato hockey pucks. I'm going to order one now and see what happens. Tiki, the round one, consists of mashed potatoes, lentils, peas, paneer, green chili, red chili, and a load of other spices. 
After frying on the tawa, it's spread out on a bread oh. bun with two kinds of chutney, sweet and spicy. And then it is oh. just gonna hang out there in sweet. the ghee, getting nice and greasy. This is one of the most indulgent comfort foods I've ever seen in India. Cuts it in half. A little more chutney on the side. Thank you, bye. We have our beast here. Yeah. I'm about to dig in. Oh, tasty. yes. The outside is crispy, hot, and then the <laughs> potato inside. You can see he's kind of ripped it apart, spread it through the inside carbs, of the bottom. Carbs, the carbs, 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 in there. Carbs, 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 Mm. That potato has almost a meaty texture to it. It's got some nice body. This delicious. place, when they started, they only had the little that, yeah. tiki. And then it evolved uh, into this, the long bun, because the owner says it looks hands. pretty. I agree. It's a I'm sandwich, yeah. I'm sour on here now. I had somebody ask me that. Try it out. What was it like to eat with your bare hands? I'm like, oh. You can feel the pieces of cheese hot dogs. inside. That is a Tacos small sandwich, pizza. but that will fill you up. Potato chips, we eat a lot of things. Oh this place has one more food I cannot ignore. The special dal bala. Indian cuisine is known for its use of contrasting flavors, and that couldn't be more apparent than in this dish. If you take a look here, it's it a lentil paste that has been fried, and then they've actually put dried fruit on the top. So first, he's gonna crush it by hand, kind of smush it down. He's putting on some of the curd here, and then this is a chaat masala, a couple spoonfuls of sweet tamarind chutney. Oh, and back to the curd, yes, please. A little bit of sour chutney, and just like that, beautiful. Thank you, bye. curd taste like? And the tamarind, right does that here, have like the hot flavor hot behind mess it? of ingredients. I mean, it tamarind is a lot. ton of sauce. What I like is actually the plate is very cool. They put big chunks of ice in the chutney in the curd to keep it cool. So all the ingredients Whoa. feel pretty cool. I'm going to dig in right now. There's a bit of dried fruit, bit of curd, a lot of stuff I never thought I would be eating at the same time, to be honest. Big ass bite. Let's go for it. Sweet, a little salty, kind of soggy. It has a lot of personality, I'll tell you that. To me, this is really what it's like it all about. <laughs> These contrasting flavors coming together. There's That's sweet, a lot of spicy, different flavors. Yeah, a lot of different flavors. Like, he's being polite. polite. I don't think he really... not trying to go one way with it. He didn't really like it that much. We have reached our final delicious destination, and you're asking, where are you? Well, where are we you? Are basically in the middle of nowhere right now. Hey! Jelly cricket! Uh-oh. You wouldn't think there would be a delicious restaurant here. I mean, there's kids way back in the parking lot playing cricket. But if you That's follow a six. this way, you will see it right here. Just Mama Meat? Mama Meat. I like that mm. name. Mama Mita. Our final <laughs> junk food destination has wow, been open since nowhere. 1978. Even though this place is in the middle of nowhere, dedicated patrons continue to make their way here day after day, even opting to eat in their cars out front. For real, this place has some of the best mutton you will experience. But oh. what is mutton, Sonny? Uh, Google says it's an adult sheep. So let's try that out. We're here <laughs> the for the Tawa Mutton Kima Chop and Mutton Tikka. The uh, Tawa Mutton Kima Chop starts with chop. I'm a big this round mutton fan. mutton patty nice seasoned nice with and ginger, lean. garlic, salt, and red chili powder. This baby takes a hot bath in a load of sizzling ghee. If you look here, you're going to see beautiful minced mutton patties bubbling up here in this pool what is of ghee. Ghee, oh, ghee is clarified butter, butter, so it's fried, butter that's it's oil, with coriander, the fat taken off, salt, and it's what's left. with onions, chutney, and wow. kucha. The bread I've had that. Kissing yeah. the ghee a little bit. Yes. Oh, Put it right on there. That. It's like an open faced sandwich, essentially. We are I'm not explaining. stopping there. It's the mutton so tikka starts with big chunks of mutton marinated in chili powder, turmeric, and salt for oh. six hours. Oh. It's then roasted in the tandoor. Oh. I thought this was going to be more exciting. We just let it hang out in there for a little while, I think. Oh, bye. After roasting, <laughs> these meat chunks get fried on the tawa with oh. a load of ghee, ginger, green chilies, onion tomato gravy, garam masala, and coriander leaves. This is the owner of this establishment Don't right put the here. chili in mine, but... knows how to do this properly. It's this guy. All the other places we went to today made sense to me. Here, great looking food, interesting location, a bunch of super expensive cars pulling up, people eating in their car, drinking in their car. Can I ask you, uh, what did you order? Chili chicken. Is that good? Chili chicken, like this. I don't have a car to eat in, unfortunately. So I'm gonna eat right here. All right, here we have some naan bread. And guys, naan already means bread. So you don't have to say naan bread, that just means bread bread. Here we have the mutton tikka. We're gonna try some bread and get some of that. Kind of like chai tea? I was just gonna say like chai tea. Yes. Soak it all up. That's what it's all about right there. Bread, meat, gravy, spices. I wish we had spices. mutton dishes here in America. Gotta find a good place that makes it. 
Mmm. It's oh. so yummy. The meat is quite tender, freshly roasted, freshly fried no, after being roasted. It's very spicy, a bit oily. Every I mean, month this very I've heavy, ever but had, it goes wonderfully with the bread. bread. Mm, that is nice. The next here, it yes. looks just kind of like a hamburger patty, but this is the minced mutton. Minced. I can kind of just pull super, it off super with soft. The bread. You don't even so need to chew it. A little bit of chutney in there. A little bit of onion on top. Oh. Mm. The patty itself is so crispy, and then the bread is just sopping up that extra oil. It is nice. Chutney, and no joke, bro. It is spicy as heck. What a treat! It is the cherry on top of our delectable, super indulgent treats that we've had so far. Oh. India is a food lover's paradise, and in Amritsar, they hold nothing back. This is North Indian comfort food at its best. My only regret is that I can't take it home with me on the airplane. Thumbnail. For you guys, this video was made possible by One Trip Vietnam. One Trip is the highest rated tour company in Vietnam. Doing tour... Good job on your sponsors. Yeah, they've know. always one trip something. Yeah. Yeah, good job. Oh, great job. Okay, the minced mutton thing, I don't, I don't know it's exactly the same, mm -hmm. but... Um, you have to show me it. Well, and I don't know if I've ever had mutton. It's a place that Indrani took me to that's a North Indian restaurant in Calcutta because this is a North Indian dish. And she was telling me that it'd be up in like Punjab and or Punjab, excuse me. And that uh, it's often like she told me a story about it being created in ways to help older people who've like lost their teeth and can't eat meat but still want to eat meat. It's that minced so that they don't mm. need to like chew on the meat. So, but when it's cooked it's like, like a that, meat drink, <laughs> it's not like that. <laughs> but it's it is. I, what it's gonna, okay? Here's the best way I can describe it. It's gonna sound disgusting. It's almost like what you do when you take peanuts and turn it into a peanut butter, but it's not creamy like that. It's just minced all the way down. Okay, have you ever had liverwurst? No. Have you ever had like pate? I don't think. She's, yeah. She's saying pa yes. Pate is any meat that's been turned into a spread that you can put on a cracker. When did I have that? Have you ever had spreadable meat? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I have. I was going to say, what well, was that? Your wedding reception, uh, probably. Like, what? Paris. Ah, in Paris. Ah, in Paris. There you go. Uh, totally we'll, forgot about it. Did we'll have, always have Paris. Ask, did you have escargot in Paris? No. I don't like seafood. I don't think I'm going to like snails. It's glorious, but anyway, it's so flavorful and salty, and it had a little crispy edge, but the inside, you didn't even have to chew it. You just mush it around in your mouth. <gasps> what do you do with your food? Oh, I make love to my food, my That's friend. Disgusting. It is an erotic experience. I don't know I if I've so ever had, I don't know if I've ever had mutton. Yeah, I, I, I hadn't. Well, you've had, the closest thing you would have had would be lamb, a lamb dish, mm -hmm. but I'm telling you, man, Every mutton dish. The that, thing I know oh. mutton from is Princess Bride when uh, the, the, Billy MLT. Crystal says, "Wow, well, when the mutton, it's nice, nice and, and lean. He loves nice and MLT so sandwich. Have fun storming the castle. If you haven't seen Princess Bride, stop watching us Turn and go off. watch Princess Turn Bride off. right now with your An MLT idiot? sandwich. Mutton is delish. Oh, it's, but yes, looking forward to that. I'm hoping mm. uh, I need everything that was in there. I really hope you can get past the texture." Uh -huh. And enjoy the glob job. Glob job. Well, I'll, like I said, I'm gonna retry everything. Because but you, I can't guarantee I'm gonna like it. You love sweet. I do. You love French toast and pancakes. You and know what's like funny that. though? I don't like sweet like uh, drinks. Like in terms of alcohol. Oh, me neither. Like I. Oh no no. Which no, is no. strange because you know I like. I know. I for like someone such stuff, a sugar fiend. But like I much prefer in alcohol dry, bitter. I like. But I prefer like my life. I. <laughs> It's true. Dry and, dry and bitter. bitter. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, um, I prefer salty and savory mm -hmm. over sweet yeah. any day of the week. But I know that your normal like go-to for food, yeah. you really love sweets. Well, it, it depends on the sweet. I don't love... I mean, I, I love some sweets. You like pancakes and, and French toast? Waffles and French yeah, toast. Yeah, syrup on it? I, I actually... I can eat like a bite of pancake. Really? Yeah. Not a big fan of the pancake. Because when it gets soaked in everything, I don't like that. I love French toast. I would eat... Dude. I, I would have French toast and waffles the rest of my life and never have pancakes and I'll be happy. A pancake? No. That's got the butter that has soaked but in the I, middle I am, with the syrup on I top? I am looking forward to breakfast <gasps> in India because that's a completely different thing I've never had in my entire life. Pancakes, man. And I love breakfast. I'm not going to have pancakes in India. No, that would be dumb. But it would be. It would be dumb to do.